The Daintree Rainforest, a place over 180 million years in the making. From towering emerald green canopies and hidden cascades to palm-lined sandy white beaches. The Daintree and Cape Tribulation areas are so unique that they have to be seen to be believed. In this video, we take you further into the rainforest than we've ever been before. To some of the most beautiful swimming spots, pristine beaches, and epic gorges of the wet tropics. Join us as we uncover the secrets and beauty of the oldest rainforest on the planet. Good morning. So it's a bit greener in this episode than what we saw in the last one. We made our way down from the Cape. We've escaped the red dirt. What a good kilogram of red dirt I left least. on the car. At <laughs> least. Not, not in the tent, which is good. I mean, no, the seals in the tent and the seals in the canopy are actually absolutely amazing. Yeah. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know that we've been up the top end for a good month. Unless you look at the rear wheel bag. <laughs> so we've just spent the last couple of days in Cooktown. We just stayed there, did some washing, all of that fun stuff. And now we've made our way down to, well, yesterday we went to Woodrow Woodrow Falls and did the Bloomfield track. Mm -hmm. So pretty steep. It is obviously renowned for being very steep. Um, but we weren't towing, so, you know, it really it was wasn't, fine. it was not an issue for the D-Max. It was such a beautiful drive. It was a beautiful drive. Highly recommend if you're up this way. Probably the biggest obstacle, the potholes and then the descents. So obviously grateful that um, we did a Petters rear drum to disc brake conversion and upgraded brakes all around on this car. So things, roads like that, you're grateful to have those kind of upgrades. So yeah, D-Max handled it, not a problem. But what are we doing over the next couple of days? So now we're going to start exploring the Daintree area, the Cape Tribulation area, which we're super excited about. Uh, we're starting today at Emogen Creek, which is either the end or the start of the Bloomfield track, depending which way you're doing it. There's a beautiful creek crossing you can do in your full drive, which was really cool. We've just mm. done. Um, there are sort of no swimming signs everywhere because of crocs, um, but we've just heard that you can take a short little walk down from the car park and there's a beautiful swimming hole. So we're going to go check that out first. Sounds good. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the danger is a dangerous place. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. It's really spiky. Can hey, you help me? I'll help you. <laughs> from one of one films before helps. <laughs> oh, that's really... Oh, All right, I'm gonna put the camera... Like... I'm gonna have to put the camera down to sort this out. Can you get it? Yep. We're just on the short drive from Ebergen Creek to Cape Tribulation, which was only about, what, 15 minutes? 
Yep, 15 minutes or so, it's not very far, just down the road. Yeah. yeah. So we've come to Mile Beach, which is one of the two main beaches here in Cape Tribulation. Uh, obviously Cape Trib is pretty special because it's where the Daintree Rainforest meets the Great Barrier Reef. So the only place in the world where two World Heritage Sites meet. So pretty cool 130, 180 million year old rainforest. It's something like it's that. It's old. <laughs> Meeting the Great Barrier Reef. So we're about to do a short walk to the beach now. Are you prepared for a strenuous walk to Mile Beach? Very prepared. It doesn't look that strenuous. I remember you saying that. <laughs> I've said that so many times and then it's been horrendous. <laughs> I remember you saying that when we left the car park to walk to Wallaman Falls. And you said, oh, we're only, we're only needing like, we'll only need a little water bottle. We took 500 mils of water. For like a, how long does it If you've us? ever done Wallaman Falls, you'll understand. Yeah, it wasn't good. Anyway, I'll I've follow you. Learned from my mistakes. <laughs> Well, that wasn't the best weather down there. It just turned, it got really yeah. windy, really overcast as soon as we got onto the beach, which is a shame, but... That's right, it was still nice. It was beautiful. It just didn't, we wanted to get footage of like, you know, like the, the glistening blue water with the <laughs> crispy green rainforest behind it. And instead it's just like overcast and cloudy, but... It's pretty, it's pretty spectacular though. Like you have the mountains, which were really misty and then the rainforest and the the sand and the water like i've just never seen anything like that it's just you call it moody when it's not like bright and sunny it's just moody we are going to move on to uh, a beautiful little walk we've heard about called Madja Madja Board, boardwalk boardwalk i think yeah it's about 10 15 minutes away all these things are quite close to each other so we're going to head there now and check that out What do you think? It was so pretty. It's a beautiful little walk, isn't it? I'm not upset about the rainy weather now because it makes this place just yeah, come to life. It is very cool. Such a contrast in the mangroves and and in the foresty area. It's really nice. It's very peaceful here. It's very only, peaceful. It's only, very quiet. Only a couple of people, yeah. We're gonna head to Cow Bay now, which is about another, I think, 15, 20 minutes south of the Madja Boardwalk, so hopefully there's a little spot for us to have some dinner. I think we got some nachos in here. Do we? Yummy, yummy, yeah. I bought a packet of corn chips at the general store I when you were- I didn't even see you do that. I think you were downloading something on the other. <laughs> um, that sounds great. I don't actually know what's at Cow Bay. I think it's just a beautiful bay, but I've been told to check it out, so that's what we're doing. The pictures, the pictures look really nice, so hopefully the wind 
holds off for us and yeah, we can hang out there for a bit. But we'll see you down there. sensible swing. I love that I'm the one testing things out in the Senator. <laughs> it's because you're because you're lighter. It's good. It's good? <laughs> I mean you can tell from that. <laughs> it is creaking a little bit. <laughs> running to get the drone so we don't miss it. Stand by. <laughs> all right, we're gonna send the drone up. First bit of sunshine all day, <laughs> or since this morning. So we just spent a nice night at Caravan Park, not far from Cow Bay, uh, after we left there last night. We were gonna have some dinner there, but it got the weather got pretty crazy, got pretty windy. So we, um, we just hung around there for a bit and then cruised back, set up the tent, had some dinner, and... Then it started raining again. And it started raining again, yeah, so... <laughs> so we escaped up into the tent. Nice movie night up in the tent on the iPad and went to sleep pretty early. When we woke up this morning, it was still raining, so we weren't sure how today was gonna to turn out, but... It's bright and sunny. The sun good. is out now. So we're heading to... Mossman Gorge today. It's gonna to be our last stop in the date tree, I think. So we're gonna spend the day exploring that area. We've just crossed over on the date tree ferry mm. uh, into the National Park. And I think it's, what, about a 20 minute drive from here? Yeah, it's about 25, yeah, 25 minutes from the ferry to the Mossman Gorge Cultural Centre, which is where uh, I think you have to get a courtesy bus from there into Mossman Gorge or into the area where you can go for the bushwalks and do all that sort of stuff. So that's the first stop. So we're heading there and then we'll, um, we'll suss it out from there and then spend the day just hanging around there and enjoying what that area has to offer.
beautiful walk. This is good, yes. We're trying to get as many wildlife shots as we can, but I think so far we've seen a spider and a bush turkey. <laughs> <laughs> We saw a cassowary yesterday. It was so close and so beautiful and we just couldn't get it on film. I was driving and I was doing about 70 k's an hour and the next minute I hit cassowary, cassowary! <laughs> <laughs> hit the brakes pretty hard. I didn't nearly hit it or anything, just to try and take a photo. So every time we've seen the cassowary, we haven't had a good enough lens on. Hence why we're walking around now with- Now we're walking around with this one so we can be prepared. This monstrosity. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like Maddie said, we've just seen bush turkeys, so. Should have done the paid tour. <laughs> I think we've almost finished our Muslim Gorge walk. So pretty. Very nice. <laughs> Everywhere between Cape Trib and here is just stunning, to be honest. You can see why it's all World Heritage area. But that brings us to the end of our episode. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And we will see you in the next one. I think we're heading over to NT. We are. We're going to restock in Cairns and then we're going to shoot over to the NT. So lots more to come. See you soon.